Okay, hi everyone. Uh, we'll be talking a little about enabling user-generated video recording in plus platform applications through CDO. Welcome to our work workshop. I'm here with my colleague, Bain. Uh, my name is Pablo. Hey, I'm a software engineer and I've been working with CDO for uh, quite a lot of time. And Bain is the head of customer support. You will find him in the, in the chat or anything that you have doubts regarding the workshop. This is a small introduction. Uh, CGO is a cloud-based media technology. That's a, it's a software as a service company. And we focus on enabling multimedia in any website or web app that you, you have uh, easily and without uh, much effort. For this workshop, we have enabled uh, a discount code for everything that's attending, it, it includes a 50% discount for 50 discount for six months, and it's redeemable until October 22nd. That comes uh, along with a 30-day trial, so uh, feel free to, to, to join us. And I wanted to check if I can, I'll share a public link with the slides of the of this presentation because it includes quite uh, some uh, assets and links that will be easier to to uh, will be easy to to go through them uh, if you have them present uh, okay i think that It should be available for everyone here. Let me know if you can't access it. And we're going to use a, an example website that's based on our love for dogs. Uh, here at CEO, we really love dogs. Uh, and most of us have dogs and share pictures of them. So we try to make it uh, uh, around them for this workshop. So first, we'll start with one simple HTML website that uh, we'll be showing. It is a dog lovers website. Um, so, okay, here, I'll check it. Oh, sorry. Uh, Okay, here is our website. As you can see, it's just an HTML, HTML uh, website with some pictures and some uh, descriptions and text. We'll be checking the code in, in a moment. Uh, so you can check that uh, the website is plain HTML. HTML, just uh, loading some fonts and some styling, but the rest is just markup and, and pictures. We reached the point that we want to share our love with dogs with everyone, so everyone can uh, love dogs with us. So the idea is that we're now providing a way for everyone to share their dog videos with us. So how will we do that? We'll start by adding a CEO to our website and following the presentation, what we'll do, sorry, is uh, add an embed or a couple of embeds to record or upload videos directly in the website and show them uh, for everyone. As a start, I'm changing between branches. The plain HTML website, it is under the main branch of the Dog Lovers repo. You have your found the link in the presentation, in the docs presentation that I shared. Um, you can also, oh, I didn't say it. Uh, you can also, uh, get it to here, to this viewer, in this uh, uh, repo. So, okay. I think that it's enough time to read the QR. And the website that includes the first version of Sigio is under the website simple branch. We'll see how the code changes. 
uh, we can compare it a little with the other version. But as we see, we are adding a couple of stuff to the website. The first step that we're adding is uh, the CGO assets. It includes one style sheet and one uh, vendor that JS that includes uh, the, our client side SDK. This is, this is uh, um, strictly for um, managing the embeds in the website. And as we see, we're, we're adding so codes here but we'll check uh, how it is behaving. If we refresh the website now with the newest, the newer version of the branch, we can see that now a form appears and it says that we cannot recognize, uh, recognize your API key. So make sure to specify it. Okay, so first thing we have to do now is create a CQ application so we log in to our account or create a new account, confirm it, whatever. And we'll go to our CGO dashboard and find the create new, uh, the create new link. And it will lead us to here. So we can now uh, create a new application. I will call it dog lovers simple. Uh, I select one icon that I like that looks like a hand doing a, like a dog here. And I'll set it as a red color. Okay, and a simple description. Okay. okay, now we have our application so we can integrate it with our website. Oh, thanks, Ben, for sharing the GitHub links. Okay, so you can find the links to the repos in the chat, uh, in this session chat. So, okay, here we grab our application token. That's the way we recognize applications publicly. So this is what we need to connect between our website and CEO. I'll copy this application token and I'll find where we're requesting it in the website. Okay, maybe I can zoom in a little. Okay, so here in the app token, we replace with the value that we copied from the uh, from the CU application. And now we can take a quick look to the code. First, we'll check that the page is not is now loading the, the, the embed. If we go to the website and we see we now have two options for record and upload video. So what do we need to add this recorder in the page? We have uh, a couple of ways of doing it. Uh, the first way is going through our docs and checking it uh, and copying the code or getting the code from there and start uh, coding it. Basically, what we need is an element that's accessible in the DOM or just a, a involve a secure recorder here with an ID. And the rest is, is just following the code that we have in our, in our docs. Or we can also uh, do what coders love to do, that's copy pasting code. We provide in our applications a way of adding a, hosted pages, those contain code, so we can create uh, pages and copy the code from them. For example, I'm going to create a wall of videos. Um, videos. And once I add it, if I access the, the page, it will look kind of like the one that we have with an embed for recording and uploading videos and a list of videos that will appear here. But if we click in the edit button here, we can, uh, we can see that we have the code. So what we can do is just copy it and paste it in our website 
and that will be it. But just to go through some of the code, we can see that uh, first, what we're doing is uh, setting the CGO app application that will contain our main object. And after that, we're waiting for the application to be ready to actually uh, get the, the recorder and uh, here for a verified event. We'll see that later. The rest is waiting for the DOM to be loaded completely and managing the form. That's it for what it is regarding loading the embeds. This is not necessary. It is just for example, because it contains the form manipulation and the updating of the videos list. So uh, besides that, besides this first here, this part, this part, and the recorder stuff, we don't need anything else. Uh, oh, if you have any questions, feel, feel free to ask them in the session chat or the Q&A. Baines will be uh, waiting for them and he could uh, reply whatever you, you, you have doubts. Okay, so right now we have our page there. So what we'll check is if it is, if it is working. So we'll go to the website and we we'll go to the website and we'll, we'll upload uh, one of the test videos I have. That's called Cool Dog. This video is from a, from a, a cool dog with glasses. So I call it Cool Dog with glasses from Little Dog Lover at CGO.com. And it is a video of a cool dog. The video is uploaded and processed because what we're doing is making a first processing stage so the video is, play, is playable in every browser and in all of the embeds. You can see the cute dog here. So we hit send and our dog, our dog video was submitted. Great. It should appear in the, in the website app. Right? Well, not yet, because first we'll check that the video is actually there. OK, we have the video in our application now. We can do whatever we like with it. But the page is not loading the videos. That's because the, as we're using the client side, uh, we're restricting uh, the the index applications until we allow it. So what we'll do now is we'll allow the index uh, the index operation for uh, for the client SDK. So we go to application manage under authorization settings, and we go here and click the one that said client is allowed to perform the index operation. Save. Okay. So now if we go to our website and we refresh it, we see now that our video is appearing in the website. Just to click it and take a look, here is the video of the cute dog with his glasses. OK, this leads us to a problem. Uh, what if we publicly leave, uh, leave a form open here, anyone can upload whatever they like. So for example, that's the first problem we have. So for example, if I record a video of myself using the recorder capabilities, hi everyone. I'll just make a quick video here. Uh, okay, I think that's enough of my face in the screen. I like that cover shot, select it. It, it is worth to point out that our files are always set uh, said to be uh, privacy first. So that's why we blocked that kind of stuff. Okay, the video is processing. Okay, that's it. 
I'll send a video and it appears in the screen now, but uh, we have a problem because anyone can submit anything. So what can we do easily to prevent that? What we can do is enable one stage that we have for videos that's called moderation. So uh, what we first, what we select here in the same authorization setting is that the client cannot view unapproved, unapproved videos. So we select this one, this configuration, and save it. And now when the website is loaded, we will see that the videos want to load, but they are blocked because they are not under moderation. That's the first step of uh, enabling security for the content. So what will we do now? We'll go to the moderation screen and we'll see that we have the capabilities of individually moderate the videos that we want to show. So as being a dog lovers page and I'm not a dog, what we'll do is approve the video of the dog so it can be shown in the, in the, in the website and leave the video of myself as pending for now because we don't want to reject it yet because maybe in the future we, want, we would like to have uh, videos of humans there too. If we go to the website now and we refresh the page, we'll see now that the video of the dog loads or the video of the, the moderated video, uh, still, it is still showing this uh, ugly uh, gray box that says that it can't load the video. So to prevent that, we'll go to the, to the part of the website where we're doing the index operation for the videos. We, we see here that we have an update videos function that what it's doing is using the client SDK to uh, make the index operation over the videos uh, object. That operation uh, gets a result that's uh, an, an array of video objects and go, it's, it is going through them and appending them as a CDO player. That's our second, second embed uh, for uh, enabling the video uh, playing in the website. So what, what can we do here? Well, we can use one of the, the um, query attributes that we have that is called approved. and only request videos that had, has been approved. So in this case, what we're doing is restricting the videos that are returning from our, web, from our servers to just the video that have been, has been approved. So if we go back to the website and reload, we'll see now that it is loading only the, the dog operate, the dog, uh, the doggy video. So uh, that will happen with any video that we upload. Uh, so we're now restricting content through moderation. Thus, uh, oh, okay. One more thing I wanted to mention here is that we can also, uh, as this website will be publicly available for everyone, we can also uh, uh, check and uh, we, won't, we won't be looking at the moderation screen whenever a new, uh, hoping that a new video appears there. So what we can do is activate the email notifications for when a new video is created. So here they have a, the emails binding to the account appears. We can add them. And now every, every time a new video is created for this application, I, I will get an email in my inbox. So what we'll do now is upload a new video of this time. We'll upload a video of a dog in a couch. We wait for it for, to finish loading and processing. Uh, 
Uh, well, as we're here, uh, I wanted to uh, let you know that you can leave whatever uh, questions you have or uh, ideas you have, and, and Bain is there to answer them. As you can see, first, it is not showing because, of course, uh, we're blocking the moderation, uh, the video showing for the moderation state. We can send it anyway, and we'll do it. And now, if you check here, this is the inbox. We see that we have a new email. We have a new email saying that a video is ready to be played. So, and it has a lot of events uh, of data from the video. So, what we can do now is, okay, I got an email. I received an email from my website saying that uh, a new video is ready to be played. So, what I can do is go to the application again, check under moderation. Okay, that was a wrong, a wrong turn here. Okay, here are under moderation. And we see that the video from the, with the dog in the couch has been uh, uploaded to the website. So here, uh, here we can set the video to approve. And now when we load the website again, we'll see that the two videos are loading. The one with the cool dog in glasses and the one with the dog in the couch. Okay, that's, from the, that's all for the first step in our website because we now, we now have a, a fully successful website where everyone can upload videos and we can moderate the content that it is being uploaded. But we also wanted to provide ways of doing this more uh, uh, automatically in some sense. So first of all, I'm seeing there's, uh, there are some questions in the chat, but uh, I wanted to check if anyone have any questions regarding what we have seen so far. Remember that you can ask any questions you like in the chat. And now we're going, we're heading for the good stuff. What's the good stuff? The good stuff is uh, complicating everything in order to make our life easier. I, I wanted to make a poll and I, I'm not sure how to do it. If you prefer dogs or cats, uh, but we'll just leave it as there. Okay. So next slide. Now we modify a little the website so we can use our backend SDKs in order to uh, improve the experience that we're having as the developers and the, the, the experience that our customers are, or our clients or our dog lovers are having with their website. So we have uh, quite some uh, backend SDKs. We'll be, and in this example, we'll be seeing the one that's uh, written in PHP. Uh, but if you don't, don't enjoy the magic and the, and the joy of using PHP, uh, you can use uh, whatever other server SDK that you, you would like. We have one for Ruby, one for Java, one for Node, one for C Sharp. And we, we also have mobile SDKs. So it can, the examples can be applied with, with any of them. Uh, okay, so next, we'll improve our website, I'm sorry, we'll improve our website with some extra layers of security, video profiles uh, that will adapt our videos to be shown uh, accordingly to our website, effect profiles to make the videos most, more their or own, sorry, and video analysis to automate some tasks that are quite, quite repetitive and annoying to do manually. So first, let's take a last look to our current website, how it looks. We can see that the videos are squared and not properly uh, shown. And we can see now that uh, everything else looks the same, but now we're switching to the complex version of the website. 
Uh, first, I get rid of the changes I made, and then I check out to. Okay, so now the website changed again. We see that for the complex uh, installation, the configuration is the same. We have our we have our our assets here. We have our config variable here, and we have our application here, and that's it. The rest of the stuff is just adding more stuff on top of it. But then, but uh, basically, we what we need is this part. So. Let's see the website first. Uh, we update the page here. And we can see now that the recorder is not showing. So definitely there's a problem. So we'll start with configuring the website accordingly to what we need. For this application, we already have um, an application uh, created and configured with some videos to make it uh, easier to go through. Uh, we'll go to our CQO dashboard and we'll select the other application we have here that's called Dog Lover Complex. Complex is like, uh, I don't know why I chose that word, but in any case, we make the same thing that we, as we did before. We copy the app token here. We configure the app URL that will be requesting the videos. Right now, we're not doing any video uh, query from the client side. We're, we'll be focusing from the back end. So I'll just set the AP URL that I have running here locally. PHP. And we, we see now that we have a couple more of configuration available. We'll start for the volume one video profile. We can configure video profiles to modify the way our videos looks in terms of aspect and uh, size. So the idea is that we could go here in the application manage screen and go to video profiles and then create a new video profile that will be uh, that will de define how the video will be uh, stored. In this case, we decided to go with this resolution, 484 uh, uh, plus 640, and some other configurations there. And we'll check, grab this identifier. It could be a token or it could be a key. In for CEO, when we're using keys, they all start with, a, with an underscore. So we'll copy this identifier and paste in it here. As I said before, all of this code is available in our public repos. Uh, you can find them in the, in the session chat. After that, uh, we can configure what's the effect profile. The effect profile modifies the video aspect too, but in terms of uh, adding stuff to it. So for example, we have, uh, we have created here a CGO logo uh, effect profile. If we click on edit here, we see that we added, we are adding a watermark to the video. That's why I say that it will make it our own. So if we click here, we see that we're specifying a, a custom watermark for our video. So we do this, the same that we did before with the video profile. We go to the identifier, we copy it, and we paste it here. So now what's left is meta profiles. Meta profiles don't modify the video, but take the video as an input and grab information regarding it. Right now, we have available a couple of processes that could be run for a video. We'll be focusing in this example with these two. Video analysis, that's automatic video analysis uh, for the video. And not same for work filter, uh, that will filter automatically non same for work videos. Uh, just as a reference, uh, all of the, all of the, sorry, all of the features that we're showing in this workshop are available in our pro plan, but the no safe for work and video analysis. Uh, that's included in our enterprise tires. So we copy here the key 
and we go to the website and paste it here. And that's it. The website is, should be working now, fingers crossed, because I haven't tested before. No, just kidding. I, I have tested it before, but everything, everything can fail in any moment. So we refresh the website and we go slowly, slowly, slowly. Okay. Now we see that we have a couple of videos loaded. They look quite nice. They have the CGO uh, watermark there. And we have our recorder and uploader here. We changed the team because uh, we wanted to show that them differently. We have uh, uh, several teams for the player and the recorders. You can check them in our documentation. Uh, so, okay. Now we see that we have docs, uh, the docs videos here, and we'll check the, the backend to see what is happening. First, we'll go to the application list of videos, and we'll see that we have three videos and not two. And why are, are just two showing there? Well, just check the API. We'll see that two videos are tagged with the tag dog, and one video is tagged with the tag cat. I wonder what's that video about? OK, it's a cat. So how are we doing to show just the dog videos in the page? We could, we can go to the backend service that we're using. This is the Get Docs API. And just going from top to bottom, what we're doing is loading the, here, we're loading the CEO PHP SDK using a configuration set in this config.json file. If we take a quick look to the config.json file, we see that we have the application token, the application private key, some tax array, and a tax score threshold that we'll use later. The most important part here is, besides configuring, this thing that says tax. Why? Because that's what's defining what we're sending back to the view. If we see here, we're seeing the almost the same query that we did before with the client side SDK, but this time doing it with the front end SDK. And after getting the videos, we're just uh, filtering a little to send them differently to the to the screen. But but in this example, we're seeing that in the CGO dashboard, we have we are just loading the the videos that are tagged with dog. So in, in any case, in the case that you don't like dogs at all and you like cats and you want to change the website, the only thing you need to do is change this to cat. And now if we go to the website and reload it, it will be showing the cat video here. It doesn't show the if you see closely, you can see the watermark just that as the video profile is configuring it to fit the, this resolution, uh, the logo is appearing here in the, in the black background. So we'll get back with dogs because we like dogs better. Not, nothing against cats, but uh, this whole uh, workshop, it's, it's, it is planned around dogs. So, okay, so now that what we have is, we're fetching the videos from the back end so we can disable the client side indexing. We are fetching just the videos that we would like because we're tagging them in the dashboard. We're uh, getting them in reverse order. That means that we're checking first the last video that was uploaded. And okay, so far so good. So what we like to see now is how it works. Well, it works the same as it worked before. So what I will do now is a video title. I'll put, okay, first I select the video because to gain some time, I will send this fluffy video. Okay. So fluffy.
We see that the video is processing. It is a, a, a good moment to, oh, to, oh, that's it, it's finished. Okay, we send it, we'll wait a little to see if it loads. Hmm. I don't think it will load. Why? Because, because we are still doing that uh, manual moderation thing that we were doing. So what we have to do now is go again to the moderation screen, check until there, wait until the fluffy dog appears. Here it is fluffy and approve the video. And will that be it? Not yet, because we have some one thing missing. We haven't tagged the video. So we'll go to the videos. We'll go here, select the video that we just uploaded, edit the video tags, and add it as a dog. We wait a little for it to load, and that's it. The video is tagged as dog, and now the fluffy video appears. So this appears in this order because of the automatic ordering. But that's it. We have the three dog videos and the cat video. Uh, it is here. Why are we doing this like this? Uh, because we might want to, in the future, uh, add more animals to our website or expand or, or whatever. So we don't need to reject the videos and we need to approve them all and tag them. That could be used in any way that you would like. But the next part is that we showed in the, in the, in the meta profiles here, sorry. You might hear my dog barking. That's why I really have a dog here in the, in the back. So sometimes he, he, he makes some noises. If we go to the meta profiles, uh, we see that we said that for unsupervised, not safe for work videos, we want to auto reject them. That's why we don't ever want to show uh, not safe for work videos. So, just as a quick example of how that works, I'm setting it for work video. Okay, I, I won't put not safe for work, just in case. Ready. Don't worry. It is not a bad video or anything. It's just a small piece of a reggaeton video. I don't know if that's better or worse, but in any case, we won't be seeing it. So uh, don't worry about it. So I go here and I upload this not safe for work sample. We'll check how we're going with the slides in the meantime. But well, we'll see that, oh, sorry, sorry. We'll see that uh, the video, now we have uh, quite some setup, and, but we're still doing some uh, repetitive tasks that are kind of annoying because we might have to go through uh, a lot of stuff uh, back and forth. So what, can, what we can do now is uh, get use of one of our cool features that's, that's called webhooks. This is just one way to do it, but we'll show it. We can set a webhook to be informed of uh, like a listener when uh, an event happens. So for example, we would like to, okay. If you see here, it says that it was automatically rejected. The video was automatically rejected because of non safe for work content. We'll send it in any case. And we'll update here a little. And we see that our website, it is still only dogs because we want it to be like, it, like this. So if we go to moderations here, we see that our latest video, the not safe for work video was uh, rejected directly because of the non safe for work uh, 
filter. Okay, but if we have automatic actions for that kind of stuff, we could have automatic actions for other stuff. So for example, what we can do is set up a webhook. A webhook uh, is like an observer for an event, for, a, for any event that we can select here. So what we're doing is whenever, and in this case, whenever a video analysis is finished, we're sending a notification to this public URL so we can do stuff with the videos. The events that we have available now are uh, all of this. Video created, video deleted, video markets deleted, whatever. But we selected video analysis because we want to listen for when the video analysis ends. When it ends, we want to check if the video is a dog video, basically. So we can automatically approve it and show it in the screen. So, how are we doing that? We'll show uh, this website. We'll show here, we have in, there, in our API, in our sample API, we have a, another file called webhook catch. That webhook catch file is configured already to, uh, to skip from doing it live. And what it, it is doing is, getting the content that we, we are, that we are uh, sending from our backend services and go through the video analysis here, go through the video analysis. And if it found the tags that we're looking for, it automatically add the tags to the video and approve it. So we have now configured the same config JSON file here. We have dog, but for example, we would like to add more tax just in case sometime in the future uh, we are uh, expanding our, web, our animal website to other stuff. So the side tags, I will add cat, I'll add bird, and I'll add why not. Human, human, human. So whenever a new video is uploaded, uh, after the analysis the job is, is completed, we'll get a notification from our site and we can automatically uh, apply them to the video. Tags are, are, are not unique. You can add any amount of tags you like to, uh, to a given video, just for the sake, the sake of this example, we're adding one tag per video. So we'll go back again to our website and video title, another cat. Uh, oh, I'll skip uh, another animal. We'll skip the name and title just to show that it is done, everything is done in the backend. Uh, not so we select the video uploading here. We add this like cut, and we upload the video. And what will be happening is that. Um, once the video is finished processing and we have an, a, a, a playable version of the video and we send that video to our, our AI recognition system, it will uh, analyze the images and respond with some tags regarding what's happening in the video. So uh, as we're seeing now, this is a cat video as we're seeing in the screen. So the video is still processing. Sometimes it takes uh, a little long, but it could be also because of internet connection and stuff. What I would like to point out is that our services are uh, always auto scaling. So when it's high demand, we have auto scaling in place. So everything works uh, as expected for every one of our customers. Okay, so the video is for a cut and we send it. it would it appear in here? No, because we have in our configuration file, we have just said that we would like to show the dog videos. 
not the cat videos. So if we go again here, it won't show here. But if we go here to our videos page, we'll see that the video is tagged with the cat automatically. And in the moderation screen, the video was automatically approved. That's how it works. And, and just to check if it is, if my, my words are valid and is it, it is working as expected, I just upload a, a video of my dog. My dog is called Milo or Milo. So we can check that it automatically refresh when a dog video is uploaded. Okay, we'll upload the video here. Select the video from my cute little Labrador. As we wait here, uh, you might be thinking, what else could we could we add to the website? Okay, we could add a, a more complex or a more complex approving approving flow, uh, like I don't know, set multiple tags to a videos, uh, check uh, different stages or check different events from the webhook perspective. We could also push automatically uh, those video files to different services like uh, YouTube, uh, Google Drive, uh, Box, F FTP, S3, whatever. We have all tokens in place for extra security. Uh, those tokens are configured per, per video or per resource. So you can restrict how many videos or who upload videos or anything regarding uh, how you would like to manage the videos. You can share your CEO applications with other users. So for example, I could share this application with uh, some of you, so you can test it. Uh, and you can like use the features of the application like if you were, but uh, the application owner controls the, the access that the, the people he invites have, or their invite have, sorry. Uh, we have extra analysis and effects. We have filters for videos. We have uh, a GIF transformation. We have extra analysis tools. And we have mobile apps for adding videos. That's, that goes in hand with the, the question that Amrit just asked. Uh, you can like put recorders or players wherever you like, as long as they are binded with, with one CU application. And that application will contain everything regarding those. Uh, we'll like, uh, get all the videos that comes from no, those recorders. And we also have mobile SDKs to create mobile apps, or even we have some sample mobile apps so you can use. So going back to our website, our video is finished processing. We send it and, okay, it did appear here because, okay, we love it. It is here, Milo with playing with his little ball. We'll check this video. Okay, there it is. Uh, so why did it did the video appear here automatically? Because the or uh, AI analysis identified that a dog appeared in the video. So uh, uh, so it tagged them automatically with the dog tag. Here it is, and it approved it automatically because. Uh, we do it, did it like that in the in the webhook receiver. So we'll check, we'll wait for the operation here and it is approved. Uh, I, don't, I, I didn't mention it, but I'm using the EU version of the website. Uh, that's why it, some, it is taking quite some time to load from here where I am because I'm, I'm really far away from Europe. And that's it. You can add whatever dog's video you like and automatically will be loaded to the website. And if someone uh, messes with uh, 
uh, someone messes with wants to mess with you and uh, upload content that is not safe, it will automatically be rejected because uh, we're checking if the video wasn't rejected before uh, making the analysis. You can see that here. If the video, it is not approved, that means that it is not been approved, that means that it hasn't been rejected yet. Uh, we are blocking the video from processing and showing in the website. All of this code is publicly available. Uh, all of these features are included in the pro plan, but the not safe for work uh, feature. So, a little more information about us. We are uh, GDPR and SOC2 compliant. Uh, everything is ready, as I said before. Um, everything is ready to scale automatically on high demand. And we have a certification program for uh, those, that, those that have worked with CQ and have experience with it. And we can certify that these, those folks are, uh, are prepared and are professionals uh, to use CQ and to provide uh, their CQ services. And so customers can also look for, uh, for experts there and leave, leave them to them to apply the CGO services to, to your websites. Uh, all of the code here is available, as I said, it can be modifiable and uh, you can use it for whatever you like. Uh, you, will, you will need access to CGO applications. So that's why we provided the discount codes at the beginning of the, of the workshop and is there any questions or uh, is there any questions regarding the the workshop or how it works i know that bain has been following through in the chat Okay, I think that it's, it's safe to say that uh, we're all good. I'll just bear here one second. I really hope you have enjoyed our presentation. We don't want to make any political state about dogs, but just that we like dogs as we like cats, as, as we like many other animals, but it, we thought that it, it would be a nice topic to, to work on. And Okay, if not, if there's nothing else, I want to take you, thank you all for joining in the slideshow. In, in the slideshow, uh, you can find uh, the links to our uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and feedback and features requests that's going to through Kenny and the link to our website. Uh, you can also feel free to reach us in the support uh, email. Oh, about can, about video re, re, requesting video recordings on website. Uh, yeah, we have some. I think that we have some examples regarding uh, uh, recording, uh, like video submission for recorded. Um, I if the questions aims to uh, publicly uh, set a recorder for everyone to upload a video, that's totally doable. Uh, uh, that's what I'm doing here when I'm recording myself. And there are some features that will come that will that uh, will planning and that we have uh, prepared to launch in a couple of months that uh, will also uh, add more uh, a more graceful experience on top of that. But yeah, you can add any kind of recordings to the from any website. Uh, I'll record myself just in case not that you missed it because I'm. This is this is not a public website. I'm running it luckily, but you can run it, uh, put it in whatever you like, and I'll record myself. I hope that I I get tagged as a human, human and not a dog, because it will be funny if I'm tagged as a dog. I select the cover shot. And 
thank you, Edward. Uh, I like. I really. Uh, I'm really glad that you like the the workshop. And if we see here, the video is still processing. Okay, the video is supposed to be processing. I'll send it just without any further information. Okay, it wasn't tag. I'm not a human here. Okay, but uh, in any case, we can see the information regarding the video analysis in here. Oh, the video analysis uh, didn't run yet. That's why I'm not a human. I think, or maybe I am, it's because uh, I am a robot or something. Okay. Here it is the video analysis. It says music, man, people. Oh, okay, it doesn't say human. It says man. That's why uh, the, the tag is not set, but we can check also just in case that this is the video I recorded just now. And if we see the, st the streams, We'll see that we have a couple of them. This is the original one that comes from my webcam. This is the transcoding, the first transcoding that is uh, done to, to make it, oh, sorry. Oh yeah, this is the first transcoding that is made to make them playable and according to our video profile. This is the first one that applies the video, the watermark. And this is the one that we're using as default that contains both of the stuff. The, the sizing and the watermark. And all of that is configurable here. Uh, how many streams we would like to create. It's configurable here in the transcoding settings. Um, in, in terms of uh, checking uh, something else regarding recordings and stuff, you can also go to our website. We have a lot of documentations. Uh, a, a lot of documentation and examples. We also have some uh, some uh, apps that are that can be run uh, automatically, and you can also test the recorders there. Uh, we have a lot of stuff from it. We have video cropping. We have uh, uh, subtitling. We have uh, filtering. We have a, a lot of stuff. So feel free to reach us through support or in our website, and uh, we'll be reaching you. Okay, Bain, is, Bain has shared a lot of uh, links in the, in the chat for everyone, if anyone can, can take a look or would like to take a look. But well, um, uh, thanks as always. I'll stop sharing my screen and myself right now. Amalia is jumping in. Oh, we were just finishing, Amalia. Great, fantastic. I was right on time. Yeah, so I don't know, we don't have anything else to say, but thank you for everyone for joining and for being part of the workshop and for the invitation to participate, of course. And, and I don't know if you would like to say something. Thank you so much for hosting the workshop and um, to the participants that still have questions, I think they can reach you in the chat to, to ask the questions or uh, maybe during the one-on-one -on -one networking sessions. Okay, that will be great. And you can also reach us in support. Uh, well, thanks again. And we'll be, I hope that we will be seeing you in the future. Thank you so much. Bye, Have everyone. Nice day. Bye, thank you. Bye.